Young Cloud Films is a family-friendly channel and is intended for viewers of the age of 13 years or older. Please view parents' permission to watch. Thank you. Hey Pokemon family, I hope you don't mind me interrupting this current video, but this is going to be the 12 days of Christmas announcement. Over the next 12 videos, you'll see an announcement where we'll be giving away all 12 of these presents to our lucky subscribers. And this is just quick instructions on how you can be put in for the drawing for the 12 days of Pokemon Christmas giveaways that we'll be doing. 12 presents, 12 different wrapping paper. Rule number one, you have to be a subscriber. I will only do this contest for our subscribers, so if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button now. Number two, you must like the video. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up video, it costs you nothing to do it. Go ahead and do that for us anyways. And number three, you're going to have to watch each of the videos. Because each of the next 12 videos are actually going to have a special hashtag somewhere hidden in them. There would be three hashtags in every video. And in the comment section, you're going to have to leave the three hashtags for that corresponding video and a kind comment to be eligible to be entered for that video's contest. You could, and if you watch all 12 videos and get all 12 videos hashtags correctly commented uh, down below each video, then you technically have 12 entries in for the 12 days of Christmas. And then if you follow us at Young Cloud Films on Instagram, I'm going to have a bonus way that you can enter in for uh, a couple more drawings as well. So make sure you follow us on Instagram and look for the post on the 12 days of Pokemon Christmas. And then after Christmas, I'll be doing a drawing for all 12 of these packages. So good luck to each and every one of you. Subscribe, like, watch the videos from the beginning to end so you get all three hashtags so that you can leave a comment down below with that and a kind uh, comment corresponding. Good luck to everyone and Merry Christmas, Merry Pokemon Christmas to everyone. Thanks. Welcome back Pokemon fans and Pokemon family to another great Young Cloud Films Pokemon presentation. Today is a very special presentation. Today is the Japanese Sword and Shield Booster Boxes. SH1, or S1H, and S1W. There are 30 packs in each of these little Japanese booster boxes. And I'm going to go ahead and do six videos where we open up five packs of sword and five packs of shield so you can see them both at the same time. None of these videos we're just going to go ahead and open up the one box. I want to be able to do sword and shield because they go together. And then also, after we're done with that, I did get an, a uh, GX Tag Team uh, little booster box as well. There's ten packs in here. These are the uh, super hyper rare cards and the opportunity to get god packs in there. So we'll set that aside. And then also, if you guys are needing any checklist whatsoever, I do have checklists for sword and shield that I typed up myself. There is sword, there is shield, and if you're looking for the hyperlink on how to find those, there are the hyperlinks of how to get those. I do this for you guys absolutely free of charge, so go ahead and check out the, the, uh, the checklists. I need this as a cheat sheet. Uh, but go ahead and check out the checklist for any of your sets. I almost have all of the sets typed up there, especially all of the more recent sets. I'm starting to work into the, the black and white series and I'm working backwards. So there is shield. Let's go ahead and get sword opened up. I'm glad they seal these really tight. So if you play the Sword and Shield game, you already know some of these characters. If you don't, 
this is going to be a sneak preview for you of what is uh, going to be available for us in February. And if you want to pre-order any of the Sword and Shield uh, US cards, uh, there's a link down below with Game Nerds. I do get a very small commission if you purchase off of that link, but I myself have already ordered over $600 worth of um, Sword and Shield products for February. I sold off a lot of my uh, personal collections so that I could afford these videos because these videos are not cheap. So hopefully you do appreciate us. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button to show the support of, of how much money I put into these videos, guys. All right, so five packs each. What's nice about these boxes is, um, oh, they don't do the little checklists on the sides like the other ones do. There's advertisements in there as well. So that's different. All the other ones always had some kind of advertisement. There's a more Peko. I don't read Japanese, so I have no idea what those say, but uh, we're going to go ahead and do five packs out of each one. So one, two, three, four, five, sword, and five shield. Five sword, five shield. Now what's different about the Japanese packs is there's only five cards in each of these packs. Uh, so you don't get a 10 or 11 card uh, pack like you do with uh, the U.S. sets. Um, also, there is not a guarantee of rare cards in every single pack like you do in the United States. Uh, but when you do get a rare card, all of the rare cards are always holographic. Uh, so I believe it's one to the front for, for the Japanese cards. So first pack of Sword and Shield. So this looks to be like a, what is that, Poltegeist? Gonna have to look at my cheat sheet. Yeah. That one is Poltegeist. It's a tea Pokemon that actually will hunt chipped teapots and stuff like that. And then if you also play the uh, the Sword and Shield game, um, sometimes your teapots are real and sometimes your teapots are counterfeit in the game. So it's actually a really cute concept. There is Sobble, Ghastly, uh, I think that's Mincino. Yeah, Mincino. And then that is a brand new one. That one is Santa Scorch. That one's pretty mean in the game. So first pack of sword. Let's go ahead and open up a shield. So if you played the game, which one did you choose? Did you choose sword or did you choose shield? And why did you choose the one that you chose? I myself, I chose Shield because of the uh, Galoran Ponita that was in there. I wanted to make sure that I got that one, and I have already caught that one. So this one is going to be the Shield. So let's go ahead. That one is Ore Beetle. That one is Gossifleur. Mawile. I think that's Rhyhorn. If I'm not mistaken, that's Rhydon. And then that one is Frost Moth. That's a brand new one. Now look at the hollow foil on this. The hollow foil is that lenticular hollow foil. Remember when we I did this preview of the Sword and Shield Sobble uh, Score Bunny boxes? That lenticular hollow foil is in there for the for the rare cards now. So very very beautiful cards. I'm hoping they continue this exact same design in the United States. But we're gonna have to wait until February to see. But you know I will have them here at Young Cloud Films. I ordered uh, three booster boxes of those. So you will be definitely seeing a lot of Sword and Shield when it gets released. I think I bought almost two months worth of videos all at one time. So plenty of Sword and Shield coming out. All right, so on to the front. That one is Air Balloon. Let's see here. No, we're back over here. Yeah, that one is Air Balloon, Krabby, um, so I think that's Phariseed, yes, that one is Phariseed, Salazzle, oh nice, so the rare, and this is the Galoran, um, not Meowth, believe it or not, even though it looks like a Meowth, this one is the Galoran, what is it called again? It's called a Perserker. Galoran Perserker. 
So it's it's the um, Persian version of the the Galoran. He's kind of like a Viking. He's got Viking helmets and stuff like that. So also same hollow foil. So very nice. Two hollow foils uh, rares pulled in the uh, in the very first one. So all right. So second shield. All right, so that one is, I think that's the Rare Candy. Yep, Rare Candy. That one is Blip Bug. That's kind of like a Pukamuku, but his name is Snom. Sorry, my cat is over there playing in the uh, in the thing. Um, a Wooloo, and then a Noctow for the rares, or not for the rare, just for the fifth card. So as you see that there's not a guaranteed rare in every single card. All right, going back to sword. Um, number 52. That one is Evolution Incense. Sudowoodo. That is Corvusquire. That's the second evolution of the Rukadi. Yamper. And then the second evolution of the um, Grookey. This one is called Thwacky. That's when he gets two sticks and he's starting to learn to drum. So, again, no guarantees of rares in any of the packs. But uh, from my experience from opening up the Japanese packs, um, you practically get all of the rare cards in them. You do get all of the commons and uncommons just in one booster box. And then you're working towards uh, just finding the rares, hyper rares, and super rares. Uh, so that is a Lantern. I believe that is Hitmonchan, if I am not mistaken. I am correct. Yeah, Hitmonchan. That's a Muna. That's a yarn, Muna. Golding. There we go. Snorlax V. These are the new moves where you can turn a, a, the V moves into the uh, the V Max um, cards as well. It's kind of like the, the, another form of evolution where they go giant. Um, the the Snorlax V Max is so huge that he has trees and a whole village growing on his belly. So, not much to the hologram. You can kind of see the hollow foil on that, so it's kind of flat. Uh, but what a wonderful, wonderful card. All right, so there are four more packs, two sword and two shield. Let's go ahead and get through these guys. All right, so this one is shield. That is the, um, I, I forget them so bad, I'm so sorry, 45. Well, that's not right. It's over here. Corv... It's a Corviknight. Yeah, that's Corviknight. So sorry, guys. Um, that one is... Sizzlepede. There's your Alolan Meowth. Kind of looks mean, doesn't he? And then this one is called Nictit, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, number 38. Correct. Nicked it. Like he stole it. It's something's been nicked. And there is the Zaceon. Yeah, Zaceon V. So remember the promo card that my, my son was talking about how the moves and everything were blank, but it was 220. Now we get an idea of what the moves are and stuff like that. If you don't know Japanese, you're just going to have to wait for the US versions to come out. But there is the second V card pulled. I'd love to see a VMAX in these, though, but we've got plenty more to open up over the over the turn here. All right. Let's go ahead and head out to the front. That one is Musharna. I think this one is Bisharp. Correct. There's Hitmonchan. 
No, that one's Hitmonlee. The other one was Hitmonchan. That one is a quillfish. And the Ry... Ry... Rhyperion? No. Yeah, that's Rhyperior. The third evolution. Alright, two more packs. Sword. Okay, so again, this one is the um, Senta Scorch. Let's back that up a little bit. That one is Maractus. Kingler. This one is the smaller version of the Poltegeist. This one is called Sinisty. Instead of the, uh, it's a teacup instead of a pitcher. And then this is the new Rotom Bike, I believe, 55. Yeah, this one is the new Rotom bike, and Rotom spelled backwards is motor. In case you didn't know that. All right, guys, last pack. So that one is Team Yell, the Team Yell Grunts. Kind of annoying in, in the game, but uh, they, they serve a purpose. And then this is why I bought Shield for that beautiful Glorian uh, Ponita. That's a Zigzagoon, I believe, 33. Glorian Zig Zigzagoon, yep. And then. My brain just went blank. That one's Sea King. And then the rare is a Rangaroo. So again, look at that beautiful hollow foil. I really hope that the US version puts the hollow foil all the way to the edge like that. So no real bangers in these particular ones, no real um, hits. What did we pull about four? Four rares out of 10 packs, but then again, I'm going half and half. So if I were to open up box to box, um, it's probably gonna be a whole different story. So. And guys, this is the, one of the Christmas videos, the 12 Pokemon Days of Christmas. So just to give you a little bit of insight, there is a hashtag in every single video, three hashtags in every single video. There are people stating that they're not being able to find the hashtags. Well, let me tell you, they're all there, I promise you. Some of them are hidden in a background. Some of them are hidden um, in different places. Some of them are in plain sight and people are still missing them. Uh, but about, as of making this video, about 40 of you have found all three hashtags, at least in some of the videos. So each video will have its own giveaway. So if there's, you know, if you don't get one and you get the other ones, that's the video that you'll be in. So uh, you have until December 31st to be able to find all the hashtags. So don't don't stress. Go back and watch the videos. Find the three hashtags. You're probably wondering why they're not showing up in the comments because I don't want you to cheat. Uh, I have it specifically held for spam so that I will release them after the contest is over with. And you'll see a whole bunch of the uh, comments pop up in there because I would rather you, I need you guys to watch the video, find the hashtags. Only the true followers are going to be able to find the hashtags and win the 12. 12 Pokemon Days of Christmas. So thank you so much, guys. We love and appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Tomorrow's video will do 10 more packs on both sides. So thanks, guys. Have a great day. Love you.